Hi everyone, now basically this is a, a been asked quite a few questions on Peacock Peacock Carol, uh, how do I select the best eyes or the best quills uh, and the, the quills come from the eye of the peacock obviously the hair is further down now this is a, practically a full size feather, I've actually still I've even trimmed this one now this is, I usually buy about a hundred of these so I do a hundred at a time. Uh, it lasts me a long time. I mean, I mean, it's, I've probably only bought uh, what three or four hundred over the, the sort of nearly forty years. of time flies, so they do last a long time. And you see, this is a full size eye. But what I do is I usually trim it. I cut it here, around about here, and then the bottom end here. I, I just basically remove the hair out. And then what I do is uh, I tie it into wee bunches like this. Now there's probably two feathers worth in that bunch. And basically what I do is I, I, I guess I've got to give an idea. There's a all the ones I've been do, I've done uh, with the, the obviously the bottom part of the the feather. Then what I do uh, I've got the eyes. Just left one out here. That's the eye there. Now, the reason I keep some on it, it's just, it's handy it sometimes when you need it. Though, uh, it, it's either I could strip this back just to the eye and keep the eyes. It's just I've got, where I keep these is in a sealed bag, so. And they're fine at that. Now, to select the best quills, uh, if you look at the back of the eye. Now, I'm going to zoom in a wee bit closer, so hopefully you can see this a bit better. And there you go. Now, basically, these this is the quill. If, you, if I press this, you'll see the quill there. That's the peacock quill. Uh, before it's stripped, or I mean, I use it the way it is, or I, I strip it back using bleach. But as you can see, this is actually a very good one. Uh, I picked out a really good one. So basically, that there would take the dye really, really well. It's a great looking quill, so obviously that would be, uh, I'd put that to the side. And I would select it. Uh, if you rumble through, there's a, just picked out a small one. Right, this is slightly darker. You can see it's still good enough to use the quills. You know, yeah, it's not too bad, but you can see it's, it's far darker. Uh, you could dye these. I mean, I, I do use them. I still use them. Like uh, I strip them back, uh, as I say, using the bleach. But the uh, it's not as good as obviously this one. You can see the difference. It's a bit bigger. So when you're buying these feathers, what you need to do is buy the, the largest feathers. Now I'm going to go into the internet in a minute, but we'll go through these quickly, just a wee quick. And you can see that's another good one. So that would, uh, that would I'd put that the good pile, as they say. Uh, not so good, but still good enough to use for tying. Uh, I think it's okay. It's a nice one. This one, yeah, it's had a bit of damage. You get that. I mean, these birds that uh, these feathers come from, the bird is not harmed. These feathers fall off. They, they molt these feathers every year, and they just pick them up. So they do, they do get damaged. Uh, there's another good eye. That's a nice. Just press it, as I say, and you'll see the quill. That's a nice quill there. So there we are. That's basically how I select the the best eyes for uh, the quills. Okay, now I'm on eBay. Now, as you can see here, all I've typed in is 100 peacock eyes. That's just at the top here. Uh, obviously, you're going to get lots of different things, but it, here's well, obviously this this bunch here. This is a uh, looks like a bleached, ready for dye, whatever colour you like. Quite expensive, as you can see. Got up to 369.99. I'm not sure if how many is in that, but what I normally look at is this one here. I'll just press on it. And this is the, the peacock eyes. Now there's the large eye. This is this one is the is actually the one I buy. Uh, I don't know if you can see the cursor, but basically that you'll get the biggest eyes brought up. So they're the one there. This one. These are the biggest eyes, and that's the ones I like to buy. Even though they look big eyes down here, I'm not sure. It's like he's actually cut these eyes down to this size. 
Uh, I mean, these eyes look the right size, even the same size as these here. It's hard to say, I'm not sure what his feedback is, but I'm only using this as an example. So you, you basically look, the feedback is 95.9%, this, whoever this is. He has sold uh, over 6,000 items, but it's always best to watch what you're buying. Just, just look at the feedback, obviously. But just to give you an idea, this is, uh, so if I select there, if I want 100, uh, obviously, and I want the 90 centimetres, 90 to 100 centimetres, which is that one, uh, and you see it's 86, 63, uh, it's quite expensive really, it's 86 pence each, nearly 87 pence a feather, uh, £3.60 to send them, uh, as you can see they're coming from China. So there we are, uh, to be honest with you, it's like anything, then, uh, you take a risk, I've had bad materials buying off at eBay, I've had really, really good materials, it's a chance you take. Uh, if you're going to buy something like this, I would certainly recommend, like, it's the ideal for buy a club, a Fly Dressers Guild, the wee club get together. They buy two or three buy it together, and then they share the eyes between one another, uh, and th that's probably the easiest way. Now, I'm showing you eBay. Now, I, I mean, originally bought Peacock Eyes from Venues, I just get them direct from Venues. Uh, but the, over the since lockdown, it's not been so easy. Feathers are not as easy gotten. Uh, so, but anyway, there we are. I thought I'd show you how how these things are, how they work, uh, how I get my peacock eyes. So now there you are. That's just, this is the eyes. That's, the, that's how I prepare, use, select the the peacock eyes. As you see, the, this is the type of eye you buy, and you've got to. It is easier to. To buy a hundred, as as I say, it's easier to then get a, a reasonable selection of good quills. I mean, there you can see there; these are all very good. Uh, I mean, you quite press the back, as I say, and you'll see how good they are. And these would all pass there. I'm quite happy with them. So anyway, okay, there we are. I hope that answered your questions. Uh, again, if you have any other questions you'd like me to answer, then just if I can, anyway. Just give us a shout and uh, just leave the comments below the video and uh, I'll get back to you. So thanks for watching.